Okay guys, to get our turtleneck poncho to a, um, I'm gonna call it a dress, house dress? I don't, I don't know what to call it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take, I've got my arms off of Deb, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the arm of our poncho right here and go straight from that corner right here and count down 25 crochet, uh, double crochets. And then do it again on this side, and then we're going to mark it. And then do it on this side, too. Okay, mark, count down from your your chain two. One, two, three, four, five, all the way down to 25. So get that done and come back. All right, I have got this side marked and this side marked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off of my mannequin and I'm going to, and blah, 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 blah. I am going to move to my desk. <laughs> okay, I'm back at my desk and I have my yarn on my hook and I am just going to go straight into the 25th double crochet on each side. Bring that yarn through, slip stitch chain one and I'm going to work a double right back through both of them okay now I'm just going to go to one side and I'm going to double crochet into the next now here's the thing get this out of the way if we continue to double 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 all the way we're down right and get to our corner, work our two double, chain two, two double, 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 all the way around, and then we come all the way back around to where we started, and we continue to do that until this reaches the floor, If it's going to continue to grow, right? So it's going to continue to get wider, and we don't want that. We just want, you know, the length to go consistent. So to keep this from increasing as we go, we are going to work a double crochet decrease at the beginning of this round. So we've doubled here, we doubled here, and now we're just going to do a decrease. So we yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, go yarn over, go into the next, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, three loops, and there's our decrease. So now, we double crochet all the way along and get to our chain two space. And then we work our two doubles, chain two, two doubles. Now, the way I look at it is I look in half. So if I take my hand and I set it here, okay, and pretend our work is here, our two doubles, chain two, two doubles. Well, we're not increasing because we worked our decrease right here. So we have stitch, stitch, double, double. So we have to work one more decrease. So we're going to work it in a, a decrease into the next, over the next two stitches. Okay. So now this won't increase any on this side. Well, now we need to do the same, or I mean, you know, this will not increase on this side so we can work our chain, our corner the same. So then when we get to this side, now we're going to have to decrease two times on this side to keep it from increasing. Okay? Does that make sense? <laughs> I know it's a little confusing and a little hard to explain, but go ahead and double crochet into each double and I will meet you guys at the corner. Okay guys, I'm to the corner. So I'm just going to work the corner as normal, one double, two double, chain two, one double, and two double. Okay, so there's the two that it increased by on this side, okay, but we've already accounted for that by decreasing twice at the beginning. So this side of our corner is good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to double crochet 
all the way along until we're four stitches before our stitch marker. So one, two, three, four. So that way we can decrease over these two, decrease over these two, work our double that's going to connect this, and then we're going to come around. So I'm going to meet you guys four double crochet away from the stitch marker. Okay, I'm four stitches away. So here's my stitch marker. One, two, three, four. And now I'm going to work the two decreases again. One. And then over the next two. Okay, so that took away the two on this side that we added right there. So now it should not get any wider, but it should, the length is going to go longer, which we like. All right. So now that was the back or front, whichever. Now we're just going to double crochet through both of these at once. Okay. Now we can get rid of that. All right. Now we're going to do that again to account for the two we're going to add on this side right here. So go ahead and work your two decreases. One. And two. And now double crochet along and I will meet you guys at our corner. Okay guys, I'm coming up to the next corner. Work that. Two doubles. Chain two. And two doubles. Okay, so the decrease we just worked took care of the two doubles we added right here. So now we've added two more down this side. So what we're going to do is double crochet just as normal down this side until we get four stitches for double crochet away from where we started right here which is a little hard to maneuver this around from right here so four stitches for double crochet away four okay and I will meet you there. So just double crochet along until we are four stitches from where we began. Okay guys, I am to the four stitches before I, we're back to the beginning. So I'm gonna decrease. There's one. Ah, oh, this is a pain, okay. And then here is the next. Okay, so we decreased twice, which took care of the two we added down this side. All right, so we should be nice and even. So we are gonna slip stitch. Get this stupid thing. Here we go. Okay, we are going to slip stitch to our first double, chain one. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, I am going to go ahead and slip stitch to our first double and chain one. All right, so to repeat around and around and around and around our poncho, we're going to continue that concept, okay? De we're going to chain one. And then we're going to work a decrease over the first two, a decrease over the next two, and double crochet all the way to our point. So I'm going to go ahead and yarn over, go in, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go into the next, pull up a loop, pull through two. We got three loops, pull through three. So there's one decrease, go into the first into the second three loops pull through three there's our two decreases all right so that takes care 
of the two double crochet we're going to add on this half of our point, okay? So go ahead, after you've worked your decreases, double crochet all the way to your point, and I'll meet you guys there. Okay, I've made it to our point, so I'm going to go ahead and work that as normal. One and two, chain two. Now these two are canceled out by the decreases we worked at the beginning of the row. So now to finish our point, we add, I need some slack, our two doubles. So these two aren't canceled out, canceled out yet, right? Well, we're gonna go ahead and double crochet, double crochet all the way along until we get to our next join right here and then we're going to work our decreases so we're going to basically work our decreases as if you know this is our center point so we're going to decrease four stitches away from this center double crochet right there so one two three four so one decrease two decrease work our normal double and then when we get to this side, we're going to start de um, working the decreases for the point that we're going to, the double crochets we're going to add in the point for our next point, right? So then we decrease, decrease, double crochet to our point. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and work from this point, and I will meet you at our first, our next little armpit area, okay? Okay guys, I'm four stitches away from our center double right there. So I'm gonna work a decrease over this one and into that one and then into the next two for two decreases, which is going to cancel out the two we, oops, the two we added. There's three. So, um, concerning this double right here, all right, we don't have that on our other armpit, right? We, that's just where we begin and end. So I'm going to actually just skip that double, okay? It's going to be a little bit wide right here because we're going to have such a wide gap just for this round because we're going to skip it and then we go straight into our next two decreases so we decrease over these two decrease over these two i know i said earlier we were going to double into them but i don't want to add more um, work only because we don't have that on the other side all right so I'm going to go ahead and walk you guys through, you know, we should have a pretty good understanding of what we're going to do. So we double crochet all along. This thing is really hard to maneuver around. <laughs> just a second. We're going to double crochet along, work our points just like normal, two double, chain two, two double. Double crochet all along until ugh, we are four stitches away from our beginning so one two three four we work two decrease two decrease slip stitch to our first chain one two decrease two decrease double crochet like normal all the way to our point work our point just like normal two double chain two two double come around and around and around back to here and we just four stitches away from our corner and you're always going to have a decrease worked over two decreases so we're always going to know where we need to be cautious of our four our four stitches so for instance here I know that my last not my last I shouldn't say my last so I know, hey, I've got two decreases right here. I need to stop, count these two, and then the next two, 
and my first decrease is over these two, second decrease is over these two, and then I know I double crochet decrease over the next two and over the next two, and then just continue around and around and around. Okay, so I'm gonna let you guys finish that off camera, and I'm gonna work mine, and I am gonna come back and show you guys what I have when my point, points, I'm sorry, two points, when my two points touch the floor on Debs, not me. <laughs> I'm sure it probably touches the floor now. All right, I'll be back and show you guys. Okay, guys, I'm back and I have just repeated that round I showed you guys all the way till the point is almost to the floor. If I give it a little bit of a tug, I mean, it's right there, you know, and here's the repeat of, or I mean the decreases I've worked all the way up the side. Sorry about that sun glare. But all I'm going to do now is take my hook and I've slip stitched to the beginning and I'm just going to chain one, which I've already done. I'm just going to chain one, pull up a loop, and then I'm going to get my scissors because of, of course I don't have them. <laughs> I got my sewing scissors. All right. So just cut that. And then leave in my end. And I ended up using what I had left from making my poncho. One whole other skein. And then this is what I have of a third skein. So I'd say a total of uh, two and a half skeins to be on the safe side. But that's it, guys. I mean, weave in your ends and you're done. That is a floor length poncho. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I thank you very, very much for watching. Try not to bump my camera. <laughs> I thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And then click that notification bell and click all so you don't miss an upload from me. One of my videos. Leave me a comment. And last but not least, check out my description box where I got links to my Facebook group, Instagram, Twitter, uh, at my Etsy shop, and all that fun stuff. And I also got a link down there to another channel I have, which is Cooking with Alana. And it's just basically me showing you some cheap, easy recipes that we throw together. And me and my girls having fun, or me and Matt having fun in the video. <laughs> okay, guys, that is all from me for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.